Come on, mates. Hey, they heard me. <laughs> Good morning, people. Uh, good Friday. Good Friday. Day for us all to be good. Oh, actually, what a nice day. Oh. Took the step. It is spring after all, so I took the step and took out the liners of my textiles. Let's hope I haven't done it too prematurely. <laughs> it feels weird, but... I can move. I didn't realise how uh, snug you were wrapped into your trousers and your jacket, but whew. I could actually fart in these bottoms and it wouldn't follow me around for the day. <laughs> Where is everyone? Do people not go to work on Good Friday? Oh, some people must be off. Nice. That's the first time. I haven't had to filter that traffic light in forever. Still buses though, bastards. So, good Friday. I was thinking about it and I was like, he had to seem quite surprised. I was like, yeah. you want a bike, mate? I don't care if you've got burning plates on. Yeah, so, good Friday. Everyone seems to be in a good mood because one, because it's Friday, you get that Friday feeling. And two, because it's good Friday, so people think, you know, woo, holiday. Now what I propose is, did you seriously just speed up because you saw me coming up? Oh, whatever. Get your rocks off, dude. Right, so yeah. Friday makes you feel better, makes you feel great. Now, I propose that every Friday we should do something. Now, my favourite is Amnesty Friday. Um, don't be a dick, thank you. So, yeah, my favourite is Amnesty Friday. Now, basically, the idea is that don't abuse it, for God's sake, you know. <laughs> Wave to you. Hope you feel better. I feel good. What a dick. Uh, yeah. So, genuinely, genuinely, Amnesty Friday. Now, the idea is that you can't get done for any email you send. So, basically, you know when your boss is being a complete and utter retard? Hi, right, mate. Are you going to come by me again? Uh, you're allowed to just send him an email saying, fuck off, Sid, or whatever. My boss is not called Sid, by the way. I just made that up. But uh, seriously, dude, this guy on the guy on the fucking left of me is like going fucking nuts, and he's probably just seen me point at him, and he's probably just remembered I've got a, probably just seen I've got a camera on. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, if your boss sends you an email, and he's being a complete and utter idiot, and you say fuck off, Sid. It's Friday. Whatever, and there's no comeback for it. You're allowed to say what you think. I mean, obviously, don't abuse the thing and just have a go at someone for no reason. Like, you know, when it comes to common sense stuff like work and that, I say, really? It's Friday. I mean, it'll never happen because, you know, stereotypically, managed like to hold a grudge management anyway. But wouldn't it be great? You'd actually look forward to it on a Friday, just come in and, like, you know. Okay, this is the plan for today, and if they change the plan on you, they say, oh, come on, dude, really? Get a grip. <laughs> That's my idea, anyway. Generally, when they fuck you about on a Friday, which they tend to do, in the RAF, we used to call it fuck about Friday. It was quite funny. <laughs> but, anywho, really professional in the armed forces, we are, like, but... Yeah. Instead, you have that full smile on your face where you're like, yes boss, whatever you say. But it's like the, the daring you to say something. Now if you brought about Amnesty Friday, I think they'd think twice before they messed you about. Because let's be honest, if you're going to have a guy turn around and call you a see you next Tuesday, well, you're going to think twice about 
being addicted, are you? On another note, after the uh, recent fun I've had dropping this bike, because I'm a clumsy oaf, I'm a clumsy hobbit sized oaf, thinking about. It won't be any time soon because I haven't got the money for it yet, but I'm thinking about maybe going on to like a mid-level cruiser because I keep, I miss my cruiser but it's trying to find a small cruiser that will be okay for commuting all year round now I'm looking at the Vulcan S at the minute might be able to afford one by next year maybe but um, I mean it's, it's low to the ground you can put your feet down, well, I can put my feet down flat on it it's all blacked out, so it should be fine for commuting. Still a chain drive, but I'll probably fit a... a what's the fucking name of the oil things? What is it? You know the thing that drips oil on it all the time. I've, I've completely forgotten. I've blanked out. I'll look at it. But yeah, uh, probably get one of them on it. And you can get all the mods I want on it, like a windscreen and... Uh, Sissy for the misses, um, you know. Give, I had a lot give you do things. The only thing I'm looking at at the minute is when it comes to exhaust light. I mean, you have to get a full exhaust system for it to make it a bit louder. Um, I mean, I don't even know what the the stock one sounds like. I'm just assuming it's bad, you know. But uh, I read a thing saying it wasn't road legal. Now, does that mean I have to change the exhaust every time my MOT comes around? Um, or is it... Whoop. Okay. Am I going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be a dick. Because I can. But yeah. Looking at it. I, mean, I might actually arrange a test ride. No, it's too early for a test ride. I'll just be pining. Um, but... Yeah, I'm looking at it. Thinking about it seriously, I am... I am, I am, because I am the size of a hobbit, and quite a small hobbit at that. Uh, oh, five foot five, five foot six. This kind of restricts your options on bikes. I mean, I've just got used to riding on tiptoes, but when you drop your bike, you do lose a bit of confidence. Well, I'm fine when I'm moving. I can flick this thing all over the place, but it's this thing. Any time you drop it, it's because you've you've snatched the brake or something's happened on the. Like last time I dropped it, I basically I hit a pothole just as I stopped and it just threw me off, so... I don't know. Ha! Guy thought he was in a bike. On a bike. In a bike? Are you in a bike? No. Guy thought he was on a bike. Oh, he'll be annoying people. Squeezy brakes. Seriously? Hit it, 400. God, he gets over on that. He's got more of a tire wear than I have, I'll give him that. That van literally did that on purpose. Getting a lot of them today. She's a beaut! <laughs> I like the older ones. Oh, it's worth it though. Yeah, I know that feeling. I was like that at uh, TZR 250. Loved it. Yeah, the two stroke. Oh, it was nice. After you. Don't come forward.
No, I wasn't very graceful. So, as an outro, what I'm going to do is go back to this morning's outro. Because, just over those besides, there's a bit of sunlight there. Okay? It makes sense. You guys have a great day. Right safe, I'll see you next time. Missed the pothole.